Overdrive. Both of my guys live. Doesn't really do much to... Ooh. I'm gonna sleep you now. What are we doing today? As you can see, I played a single game off camera. Uh, we are going to be using this Sun team that I showcased in a video the other day. Uh, it is based around a really cool eject pack overheat Torkoal, and I just think it's like really, really fun. Uh, I didn't make it. This was made by uh, Super Santi, aka Santino Tarquinio, and uh, 45 Mice on Twitter. So make sure you check them out. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So like I said, it's so the main reason this Pokemon gets usage is actually into both Palafin and Iron Bundle, and I'll show you why right here. I will explain why right here. Who do I bring as my last Pokemon? Do I want to bring Tusk? Tusk actually does go super crazy stinky mode, but also this guy. I'm going to go with this guy. Do I? Hmm. Terrifier Tusk. I mean, I... yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, so uh, Jumpluff, even without max speed, uh, with Chlorophyll up, will outspeed Booster Energy Bundle, which allows you to go for Leaf Storm into it. And then Booster Energy Bundle um, dies, that's the word. As a Palafin player, I'm tempted to run Ice Punch or similar shenanigans for Jumpluff now. I don't think it's worth it. I've faced Ice Punch Palafin before, and while it did beat me in that game, that was in closed team sheet. In open team sheet, the Jumpluff player will just always know to like Terra Water. I thought your Toku was holding a, a backpack for a minute. I mean, it's just technically a kind of a backpack. Yes, they have let off with 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 the bundle. Um, we will now be taking its life. Wait, there was no booster energy. Why was there no booster energy? Are you not? It's not booster energy bundle. I don't I don't know how my matchup goes into this. I don't know how this works. You expect me to learn? I'm not learning. All right. I'm going to tear a water here. I might regret it immediately, but I'm going to go for the Leaf Storm, and I'm also going to overheat into it. That is Focus Sash. That is Focus Sash, if I've ever seen one. So, I'm Terra watering here um, because I don't want to drop to a Heat Wave. And if they want to go for the, the Freeze Dry, I actually don't know my calcs. I might live, I might not. Let's see. Jumpluff has 110 base special defense, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. Its HP is not great. They protected. Okay. Well, I have good news and bad news. Um, if they went for, like, Heat Wave here, it's extremely good news, actually. Cool. It's base 90? Shut up, you don't know anything. All right, go for this Encore, and I'm going to go for the Overheat into you to get a free swap. Actually, I should just Encore and, yeah, Overheat into you. Like, it doesn't matter if you get the Protect. Or at least I don't think they'll get the Protect. It's better for me to get the damage, is the point. Cool, they did not get the Protect. I should take another Heat Wave, despite the immense damage. I, I don't, I, do, I dropped. So the first one was a low roll. That's what we learn. And I think that's a loss. I mean, it depends. Um, do they have any flying types? I might have to spam Rock Slide and Specs Dazzling Gleam. Hmm. 
This is 100% my play. I hate this. I'm honestly just shocked that Jumpluff with Terra Water couldn't take two heat waves. As long as they're not Scarf Chiyu, I should be fine. Don't miss. Well, that thing's gone. Alright, it's an Arcanine. So, there's a rule here, uh, in that's I, I'm gonna flinch it and also crit it. Hi Moxie, happy to finally be able to catch a stream question. How do you handle low health choice locked mons early in a battle? I generally feel like it's better to let them go down for the free switch. Uh, and conserve a low HP mon, or rather than, I hope you conserve a low HP mon. Uh, it's getting my way. It it depends. Like I, I can't really answer that question without full context for the turn. It's not like a always do this or never do that sort of situation. It it really does depend on what's happening in the match. Also, Hippo, thank you so much for the uh, for the resub. One year. Woo yeah oh yeah. Behold, a crit. Oh, I, y you know what? I'll take it. Behold, a flinch. Oh, no. Okay. Um, behold, a lot of recoil. Don't be citrus. Behold, a win condition! <laughs> I need exactly, count them, one flinch to win this game. <laughs> Behold, my win condition. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I guess that's optimal, technically, okay. I only have so many rock slides, and yes, that, oh wait, I guess they're stalling out sun. I actually don't know if this KOs the Arcanine now. I need exactly, count them, two flinches to win this game. One. Oh, I need exactly three flinches. <laughs> Alright, that's game. Alright. Honestly, not the best start. We'll be fine, though. Okay. I... I... I don't even know what this is. Um... So there are three ghost types. And we have a King Gambit that is Terrifier. But also... Maybe I just do the funny on him. You know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm just gonna do the funny on him, but we'll bring King Gambit. That's Terra Normal Boom Burst Toxtricity. I'd imagine it's something like that. I mean, there's a Drift Blim next to it. Or just like Tailwind. All right, Annihilate and you. 
I mean, it depends on if you want to call out, like, Lumberry. It also depends who I want to call the Lumberry out on. I'm actually kind of scared that it might be, like, Final Gambit Annihilate more than anything. But I'm also concerned that I'm going to get Ice Spinner turn one. But I also don't want them to set up. Is Double Protect the play? I'm going to... No, I can't even do that. Do I want to burn a Terra here? You know what? It's not Final Gambit Annihilate. I'm being, I'm being stupid if I think that. All right, this should do a chunk. Yeah, they're gonna bulk up. That's fine. Um, as long as I don't miss this overheat, I'm in a really good spot. Why did I say that out loud? Why did I say that out loud? Why why do I do these things? Alright, have fun clicking that. Have fun bulking up. I hope I hope you enjoy this. You know what? I'm going to say it again. As long as I don't miss this over here, I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Cool. Hoggers, in fact. Um, so we have to make a call. And that call is, is this multi-scale Dragonite? And I'm going to make that call. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make the call. I no longer care. This game has already annoyed me. <laughs> I have already annoyed myself with this game. So jump left should still be faster than this thing. I'm going to go ahead and just... Why am I tearing? It's not offensive. Okay. I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. And I'm also going to Leaf Storm to break this uh, multi-scale. As long as I don't miss this... As long as I don't miss this Leaf Storm, I'll be fine. I'll be fine as long as, as long as I don't miss the leaf storm. As they withdraw, okay. I'm 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 withdrawing your your Dragonite privileges. I'm withdrawing your Dragonite privileges, sir. Oh, okay. Well, it's gonna Terra. What's the Terra though? Normal? Don't care. It's Terra Steel. Oh, I might be cooked. I might be a little cooked here if this if this wakes up. You already know they're gonna be running like Iron Head on this thing. All right, I did a decent amount. Cool. It's still asleep. Um, how do I get out of this? It might be tailwinding. I'm not even AV Gambit. That's what sucks. Uh, let's go King Gambit. I'm going to Tailwind up. I would imagine this is a decently fast King Gambit if we have a Tailwind on this team. He's also Radiant. Who would have thought? All right. Iron Head, cool. Didn't do much. Pathetic. Overdrive. Both of my guys live. Doesn't really do much to... Ooh. I'm gonna sleep you now. And I kind of need that to work. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with the Biden Blast. We gotta hit him with the Biden Blast, otherwise I don't think we win. Cool, we connect. Alright. Biden Blast! <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. So, I mean, next priority, I would argue, is get rid of get rid of the, the tox, I would say, is probably need to be honest. Sarah Ledge. Okay, glad I went with this Terra. Um, I do have access to Sucker Punch, but why would I do that when I can sleep him? Pretty sure this one shots too. Actually, what's stronger here? 85, 80. Okay, yeah. Kowtow Cleave is stronger. Um, I'm simply just going to land a Sleep Powder because I'm good at the game. Oh, I missed. I'm bad at the game. Today I learned TIL, bad at the game. TIL. Bitter Blade. Oh, no. All right, that's fine. I mean, we still have like a really, really fast guy here. And I'm going to go into Torkoal. Actually, I'm going to go into Fluttermane. I'm pretty sure we take a Shadow Sneak. There's their Annihilate. Yeah, I think we're fine. Just hit him with the Cleave and the D-Gleam. That also covers for a possible Sash. Yeah. Hit him with the cleave. Nice. I don't, uh, I don't know what's going on here. They do have Trick Room as an option. If it gets blown up by this, eh, maybe not. You know what? I believe in them. Or actually, maybe I just do this. No, I don't do that. It's stupid. Maybe it maybe it's not stupid though. Hmm? I believe in him. I believe in him. Flip turn weakness policy armor rouge. Not if there's Indeedy, I don't think. And um if it is, uh oopsie. Maximum Zebra, thanks for the sub. Or loom Golden Go. All right. So I'm actually pretty okay with this. Because um, here, I'm just going to go ahead and lock myself in Earthquake. And I'm going to go for the Ice Spinner in a Berloom. Yeah. Terra Flying Ice Spinner. Let's see if they end up tearing their golden go. And unless they're Scarf for Loom, I think we're fine. And even if they are, I'm pretty sure we just outspeed. Okay, yeah, solid uh, solid play on my end. Not gonna lie, I'm a little goaded. A little goaded for that, not gonna lie. Show me the Focus Sash. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You know, we don't see the focus edge regardless. You are streaming. GG's, my dude. I just played you. Okay, so my apologies for that final turn because I completely forgot that my Tailwind did not end and I went for a second Tailwind for some reason. Good game. I, I, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> oh, am I really gonna... Am I really gonna call him out like this? This is a little bit of a weird thing for me to do. I'm going to go into Torkoal here, and I'm actually going to call out a possible wide guard, and I'm just going to taunt. 
This also prevents Trick Room, ironically. So it's whatever. I kind of have to do that as they withdraw. Oh, are they gonna Trick Room? They might be Trick Rooming. I might be. I might be. I might be kind of crazy for this one. I might be kind of crazy for this one. Psychic Seed. If I prevent Trick Room, I'm I'm happy. I think I just I think I'm just good. Go for Endure. What is? Hello, buddy. I don't know what you're up to. Um, I don't like it. All right. Uh, let's just go for the Overheat and an Ice Spinner, and I think that should just barely knock out Ndidi. I don't know what buddy's up to. Is it actually weak armor weakness policy? That'd be so funny. Uh, too bad he can't protect against Sucker Punch. Stupid. <laughs> and we live too. Huge. Huge. All right, um, let's just get in Tusk, it's whatever. Still have Sun Up, my Earthquake does crazy damage. They can, I taunted them, right? Does Endure, is Endure priority? Am I stupid? Anyways, I think I'm fine. Yeah, they are taunted. Um, so I think this double up's fine. Earthquake. And I'm also going to Ice Spinner since that covers the option for them to want to go for like a Terra Grass or something. And thanks for the raid. Geeky bad. Terra Grass right now. You should Terra Grass now. Oh, what are you? That's an interesting choice for a Terra. I don't know how much it helps here. Nice little one shot. And Ice Spinner will KO. Cool. Very cool, in fact. Whew. All right. Let us continue our climb out of Ultra Ball Hell.